In continuing coverage, the state is now working to improve safety and reduce crashes on a busy El Paso County corridor. State transportation leaders are considering a major traffic flow change on Highway 83 in northern El Paso County. Cardio 13 Scott Harrison is live there tonight to explain why they're considering putting a roundabout there. Scott. Yeah, Heather, that roundabout would be right behind me here. According to CDOT, the 10-mile stretch of Highway 83 that we're talking about starts from right here at the El Paso-Douglas County line and then goes about 10 miles south of here to InterQuest Parkway. CDOT says that that stretch has 72 access points where side roads and even private driveways intersect. The long-range plan would eventually expand some of those points and close others including building our state's second highway roundabout area. For many homeowners along Highway 83 in El Paso County, the highway is the only way in and out of their properties. But several neighbors say that they're open to using or finding detours if it improves traffic safety. It seems like weekly we're seeing car accidents. Um, just last week there was a rollover crash right here in front of our house. So I think safety is a huge concern and anything that they could do to improve it would be helpful to everyone. You know, if it's not at my cost, um, you know, because I have a, a driveway entrance that works very well and, you know, we're cautious anytime that we leave it on the highway. Um, but if, you know, if a, a different access point has to be created and that's how I have to, you know, come to my property, then, then that's what it's got to be. CDOT recently presented its long-range plan for Highway 83 to El Paso County Planning Commissioners. They are considering putting a roundabout like this one in the busy area. It's one strategy the agency wants to use to slow traffic down and address speeding which is considered the top safety concern. We have a lot of two-way stops. Do those become roundabouts? Do those become signalized intersections in the future? So we, we, looked, at, you know, we looked at where do we add turn lanes, where are those needed? So it's a pretty comprehensive look at the corridor and what it means. So. And there's no timetable yet for when these changes could be coming to Highway 83. We're live at the El Paso-Douglas County line. Scott Harrison, KRDO 13.